thumb sucking can it affect your facial development? It certainly can. However, from my experience, I feel that thumb sucking is usually a secondary or a tertiary factor. The most important factors are still the strength of your bite and the resting muscle position. So if you have a strong muscles when you bite together and you rest with a good body position, your mouth closed, this will usually make you resistant to any effect from thumb sucking. However, if this is not true, then thumb sucking can really be the straw that breaks the camel's back and can have a significant effect. However, there are two ways to suck your thumb. You could either suck your thumb pushing up forcibly with a lot of action when you suck your thumb, or you can suck with your thumb hanging down with a more passive resting position. And it's this second position that causes the most damage. And yes, this can cause a lengthening of the face. It can cause an asymmetry of the face. It can narrow the upper arches and leave the lower arch, the mandible, the lower jaw, set back and down, causing considerable damage. But we must identify the type of pattern that your child's making before you make any assumptions. And as a general rule, it is good to stop thumb sucking wherever you can.